So you were going through a bit of therapy as well. You still doing that or? So um, we're currently looking at. Um, I'm currently looking to sign up again. Okay, right. Yeah, I think the whole therapy thing. What I'll say to people, it's not like a one-time thing. I think it's an ongoing journey. Right. And when you take those breaks, it's very easy to slip back to your old mindset. Mm. So I think that um, I was dealing with a case this year. And prior to that case, I was seeing a therapist. Um, it ended, it was about 24 weeks, a very long time. And, you know, I dealt with the case, I won the case, we thank God. But, Congratulations. Thank you. Well, it's still <laughs> ongoing a little bit, but I won the case, main thing. Um, and I just, I just think after that, I didn't really deep the impact that that case had on, it was like two, three years of talking about this case is going on. Oh, we've been on for a while. Like, yeah. The court system slowed though. As you, listen, yeah. I didn't <laughs> really deep the, it, like it's, it's contributed to how I even carry myself today. I see. Some of the things they were saying about me in that, that court was not nice. What, what was the court? Um, um, like? So basically there was a guy, I'm not going to say his name. I've already spoken about it in an interview prior to when I, when I actually won like yeah. a couple months ago, but basically he recorded me without my consent, stuff in the house. And these were very explicit, intimate videos. Like these were not small videos. And without too much detail, not only has he done that, but I think he shared it with people. I see, yeah. I yeah. think he shared with people. So, um, of course, eventually police got involved, you know, he got arrested and it just became a fight between me and him. Um, he was all admitting it in the beginning when I had him on the phone, but then when it came to court now, it, it, it was a whole different story. Up, yeah. And you know, a lot of the things they were bringing up was my social media, how I dress, wow. I dress my bikini, like yeah, 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 yeah. They were bringing up a lot of things. So things that I was doing on a normal day, like I'll just go on Snap and just do my thing and twerk and enjoy myself, that changed because I felt like he painted me in such a way that I couldn't be that person because. Therefore, I'm allowed to be treated the way that I was treated on that day that he recorded me. That's it was just not a nice feeling. Yeah. <clears throat> so that was without consent, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what yeah. that's what voyeurism yeah. is. Voyeurism yeah. is basically um, recording sexual act, something for your own pleasure, without obviously the person knowing at the time of the recording. It's it's a proper long thing, but just call it voyeurism. Yeah. But yeah, like um, I think after that more things happened. Um, it was like, it was just like one after the other. And the more it was happening, the more I was going back to my old mindset. And I think I even stopped going to church at one point. I was like, nah, God obviously can't hear me right now. So <laughs> I'm gonna keep it pushing, you know? Um, so wait, in, in the court, they were playing your Instagram clips or? Um, <laughs> well, they played the videos. They played videos of what, sorry? Of whatever he recorded. Oh wow. wow! Yeah. Okay, right. It was it was a, it was a big violation. It was it, it was. I, I can imagine, yeah. I, there's violation. Like I've been violated before, but to relive it. Yeah. To it, it was three years later. I, I didn't deep it until you understand. Like it was. You almost getting judged by people yeah. that are meant to be helping. It was yeah. just. It was. Oh, it was awful. And like I said, if I tell you this guy, yeah, in my head, it was a good you. Yeah. I wouldn't have even. Till this day, I don't really think he knew the impact of what he was doing. I truly still believe that, despite what he's put me through. But I could have never have thought he would have done such a thing. It was a good you, calm you. I don't deal with the bad boys publicly, anyways. But <laughs> <laughs> discreetly. <laughs> but you know what I mean? Like, I like my good fellas, you understand? Because I'm quite a lot. So I like my quiet donnies. I like my guys that are nice and innocent. Be sure. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> I'm asking because I, I watched the interview with you, I think it was Big Ego, and you said you don't like the good guys. <laughs> I mean, I was seven months ago, so maybe things have changed. Um, okay, cool. So this is my problem. Um, I, in terms of dating, I, I, would, I go for the good guys, but I think what I attract and what I always get on with and what seems mm. to last longer is a certain type. I don't want to say bad boys, but it's a certain type. But that type doesn't help me grow as a person or as a woman. So I, I, I am really trying with these good, innocent Donnies. Do you know what I mean? I am trying. What do you mean by innocent, though? 
<laughs> just right, you know what's, what's, the, the, yeah. they work nine to five. Oh, okay, right, right. You know, no kids. They're legit with their car insurance. It's not this person's name. If they have a car accident, they just abandon the car because it's not in their name. <laughs> um, they don't have no criminal record. They're not at DLT Motor, Danky Sounds. You know what I mean? Like you see them Tonys there because to them, and I know this is a mad statement about I'm about to make, but to them, securing a girl like me is is a big deal for them. Mm. So it's an easier transition for me compared to the ones that are like me. The okay. ones that are like me, there's competition. <laughs> I'm not trying to compete with my nigga. I'm not trying to compete with my nigga. And I feel like the men that I attract is competition. Oh, I see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Firstly, in the bedroom, who can pipe, the, who can pipe it the most? <laughs> <laughs> who, who can really give it? Who, who's really submissive here? There's that one. Then it's like... Um, you know, they 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 accept who I am with the social media thing. Like they're yeah. cool with it. They don't mind it. In fact, they like when guys are even coming because they know they're the ones that. Are, uh, uh, <laughs> yeah, I just feel like it's very toxic. There's no uh, growth. I see. It's just you understand. Yeah. And and with them guys, I, I do see potential. I'm not saying that I've succeeded. I haven't. I was dating a guy very recently. Good guy. <clears throat> But yeah, it didn't, it, it just wasn't for me. What was it about him? You know what? I know you guys are trying to catch me up. <laughs> God, I'm not going to have him see this clip and know that I'm talking about him because he's the only guy I was saying. Oh, fair enough. So I'm not even going to go there, but he's a sweet guy. Um, it just, he just wasn't, it just wasn't, he wasn't my guy. It wasn't what I wanted. So It can't always work out, you know. Exactly. And you are, so... Right, you're, yeah. you're going to hate me. Yeah, <laughs> We're going to probably talk about this in a second, but yeah. I've just recently done surgery. Yeah, no, you told and, me. And yeah. um, my faha is hurting my crotch. I need to go to the toilet. <laughs> yeah, go on, go on. I just sort myself out. No, yeah, go on, go is ahead. Cool? Yeah, of course. <laughs> Thank you. Of course. Oh my god! Imagine that chain journey I did. Oh my is, god! Is the chair comfortable though? It, it, it doesn't matter what I sit on, babes. It's the oh. it's the it's the, it's the thingy. Yeah. All right. 